Well, hi, guys. I wanted to give you a heads up about something just in case you have not been thinking about this <clears throat> or aren't even aware of some of the things that are currently happening and will continue to happen throughout the next couple of years. What we are seeing all over with lots of different products is projected to go on for quite some time. So be forewarned of that, that the shortages and problems with different products is going to continue for some time. And nobody can predict when it's going to resolve itself. There's problems everywhere in almost everything. And in today's video, I'm going to give you a perfect example of just how shocking something can change in a short period of time. You really have to think about what you're going to need. Even if it's next year, what am I going to possibly need next year? What is it I need right now? I was thinking about this coming winter and I have a camera that I use inside the plow truck when I plow, whether it's looking out the windshield or it's turned looking at me as I drive the truck. And then I use this weatherproof camera right here. I have felt over the mic to try to snuff some of the wind. This is a, a waterproof, dustproof, and shockproof camera that I mount on the outside of the plow. And this is what gives you guys the outside view of the blade when I'm plowing snow. I bought this camera just two years ago for $67. And I thought it'd be a good idea to get another one to have up on the passenger side bonnet, looking down over the blade that is throwing the snow off to the side as I come down the road. So you guys could have different shots, driver side, outside passenger side, outside shots of me shots of looking out the windshield, put all these clips together and try to make a fairly interesting plowing video, right? This has been a fantastic camera for only $67. Yeah. I wanted to buy another one. I went online to buy a brand new Fuji XP waterproof camera is now just under $400. They went from $67 to now just under 400. You can get them in four colors, four colors, same identical camera. There is crazy things happening, you guys, all over with all kinds of things. Gasoline is going to just keep going up. The cost of food is going to just keep going up. And have you guys noticed that there is no quality in food anymore? Even the restaurants that I used to go to th throughout the years, they don't even taste the same. Not even close. It doesn't even taste like food anymore. Sandy went shopping and picked up some chicken patties, breaded chicken patties, just as a quick heated up in the oven dinner to have something with it. Well, put them in the oven for the time it said to bake them. And when they were done and you cut one open with a fork, honest to God, you guys, it was a mystery meat. I told her, I says, does that look like chicken to you? It was a spongy, compressed, I don't know what you call it, breaded something. It smelled the meat. If you put it up to your nose, it smelled like a wet dog. Right into the garbage it went. I told her, I says, don't ever buy that shit again. Where did you find that? I'm telling you guys, there is almost no quality today in stuff. I don't care what it is. And it just, nothing is what it used to be. It's all gone, you guys. The, the days that we, us older people, remember, Generation X and others, that remember the days when there was somewhat normalcy in life. You didn't, you didn't have to have these conversations before. You, people didn't have to talk about food. Food was food. People didn't have to talk about the gas. 
People didn't have to talk about the rising energy costs and utilities. People didn't have to talk about shortages and things missing and disappearing. And it's like, why is, there, why is that not on the shelf anymore? And where did this item go in this product? What's going on? Those were things that just didn't happen in those days. And yes, I understand things change, but my God, you guys, as things change in this world, in this country, everywhere, it only changes for the worst. I wouldn't care if change happens, if it was similar or better. Now, I will tell you something that has gotten better over time, and that is flashlights. I like flashlights. That's what I'm into. Most people are into computers and smartphones. I'm into cameras and lights. I like lights. They're cool. LED lights, much better than the old-fashioned condescent bulbs and the flashlights that had the big old clunky batteries in them, and you had to beat them against your hand to get the damn light to work, and then it was about as dim as a candle. So, yes, there are some things, very few things that have improved, like lighting has improved. But, man, that's about it. That's about, that's, that's about the only improvement I can see. And cameras have gotten a lot better, way better. And they used to be affordable. Now it's gotten crazy. I mean, if I'm going to spend $400 on something like this, I might as well spring for another 200 and get a mirrorless camera. Not just a basic Fuji. That's why I'm saying, you guys, if there's something that you need, I would stock up on it. And I'm talking basic stuff because nobody knows what's going to go away. That's the scary thing. What is just going to disappear? Just to give you an example, what if socks became scarce? Underwear, bras for you ladies. What about deodorant and toothbrushes? I have been having a feeling for the longest time in my gut, and I still have yet to listen to it like an idiot. I need to get to Dollar General. Something is telling me stock up on toothbrushes. Don't ask me why, but I've learned that when something is warning me to listen and I keep forgetting, I need to go and buy a bunch of toothbrushes. When I buy deodorant, you guys, I buy it by the bag load. I go, honest to God, I go to Dollar General, my deodorant I use, scrape it all right into a basket. And then when I go to the checkout, they look at me like I'm nuts. You just bought all our deodorant. Yeah, because it's the only deodorant I can wear. I am allergic to every single other brand. There's only one brand that I can use and I buy it all. Because I don't know someday when that particular kind that I use is going to be gone. And I keep it all in my closet because I can only use one kind. I'm allergic to everything else. I break out with a big red rash in my armpits if I use any other deodorant. There's something in those other ones I'm allergic to. And this particular one I use does not have that ingredient. I forget what it is. It's a long word. Can't even pronounce it anyway. But I'm telling you guys. We are going to see some crazy things to where things that will go missing you never dreamed or ever would believe that you'd ever see missing from shelves or in stores and in inventory. It's like, how can that not be available? I've heard that there's certain shoes now that you can't buy because they've been sitting in containers so long out there on the ocean on these big um, ships that they're molding while sitting out there on the ocean from the heat, heating up those big box containers and the condensation that the shoes are molding. That's why when I buy shoes and there's a sale, I'll buy four boxes of them. I'll take one pair out of a box. I'll wear them and the other three go in my closet. So the next time I need shoes, I've already got my shoes. I don't need to go shopping. I stock up on socks and underwear. Like they're going out of style. I stock up on shoes, extra shoe laces. I buy multiple jackets and coats. I stock up in winter gloves and boots. I stock up in hats. I stock up in everything. I'm stocked up in eyeglasses. I got five pairs of eyeglasses. You never know. You never know when those pairs might be your last pairs. And if you break one, you're going to need a spare. So I buy extra. I get extra. I try to get extra everything, everything. Stock up in food, water, clothes. My God, you guys. When I go online to buy jeans, now these companies that I buy jeans from are wanting $100 for a pair of pants. A hundred bucks. I used to pay $34.99 for a pair of jeans, just basic jeans. 
like Wrangler or Lee or even Levi. $34. Now they want $100 and some are over $100. Some are $117, $124. It's like, what are the teeth of the zipper made out of 24 karat gold? You guys, it's getting insane. It's getting insane. And I think what it is, is that your big time company CEOs and your, your elites and your, your extreme wealthy people see something coming that the rest of us maybe aren't fully aware of yet. And they're trying to make as much money now as they can before whatever's coming hits and everything's getting jacked up. Let's see how freaking rich we can get before the shit hits the fan. Who cares if they can afford it? Some idiot's going to pay it. Let's just jack up these prices and just make everything expensive so we can get even richer. I think something's going on. Something beyond what we're being told. Get what you need. I don't care if it's a garden rake, head shears, extra tires for your vehicle, whatever. Use your imagination. Get extra of whatever it is you use and need. Get extra of it. Because I think we're going to, as these years go on, they say this is going to continue into the foreseeable future. No one sees when it's going to end or resolve. And we know when things go up, the prices don't ever moderate and go back to what it was because it was like, well, look how long it's been raised for as long as it's been. And well, we're still making profits and people are still paying it. So let's just leave it like that until we decide to raise it over another fake problem and then we'll get more. It's not ever going to come down to where, oh, I'm sorry that you're paying $5 in gas. Now we'll bring it back down to $2.30 because you liked it better when it was that price. No, no, they're going to just keep upping it. Just like on a, uh, wages are going to keep rising, which is going to make the cost of everything go up too, because the companies have to compensate their extra expenditures somewhere. And they always pass it on to you and I. The consumer, it's always, we're always the ones that pick up the tab, pick up the bill. It always gets passed on to us, right? That's how it works, economics. So I'm telling you guys, get stocked up on stuff. Buy the things that you don't think you're going to need. Shoes. I'm telling you right now, boots. Well, I've got boots for this winter. So what? Go out and buy a pair. Wait until there's a sale. Go get a pair for next year. Just in case. Just in case the sole comes apart. You blow a hole in it. Get extra stuff and keep it on hand, extra blankets, whatever, whatever it is you need. Think, use your head. Think, what do I have? What am I going to need extra? What do I have now? And if it broke, can I replace it? I like to go fishing. If I broke a fishing pole, do I have an extra one? You better believe I do. If I broke a knife, do I have an extra one? You better believe I do. If I lost rechargeable batteries, do I have others that I can charge via solar? You better believe I do. Extra flashlights, extra everything. Extra everything. I stock up on shirts and fleece and, and uh, pants as much as I can. Because I'll tell you right now, if I'm seeing pants at 100 bucks plus, my God. Like this camera was one sixty seven dollars now it's just under four hundred bucks. What if jeans go to two three hundred bucks like the Russians would pay for genuine Levi's? you know it was like gold over there. not sure if that's still happening. I remember when that was going on where it was like Levi's were worth a mint. I'm telling you guys, I don't know where stuff is going, but stuff is getting worse in this country, and food isn't food anymore. A lot of these fast food chains are growing their meat in laboratories. It's like, what the hell are they doing to us? I don't go to them places anymore. Even regular restaurants are crap. It's crap food. It's not even worth the price on the menu. It's not worth it. It's garbage. It's shit. They serve you shit on a plate. There you go. $14.95. I'll be back for my tip. It's crap. It's crap. That's why I want to learn to start cooking more meals at home. I need to learn that which I do not know. And it'll all come from you guys and YouTube. I need to learn to start making better meals and learning how to cook things that before I didn't know how to make. I need to learn it because the food out there isn't food. I mean, Gizmo would sniff it and walk away like, what the hell is that, dad? And then he just goes away. He doesn't even want it. That's bad when a dog don't want it. I'm not going to eat something a dog don't touch. 
If it's not food, he won't touch it. Huh, buddy? He said, it's not real, Dad. It's not real. He says, what is that crap you're trying to feed me? But I'll tell you what, we're going to see things we never thought we'd see in our lifetime. I've already seen so much go away in my lifetime to where just years ago, I never would have dreamed that I'd be seeing the realities that I'm seeing now. I never would have dreamed it. And if someone would have told me back then, I, ne I surely never would have believed them. I would have thought, yeah, you know, what did you smoke today? So don't think just because something is plentiful today that it won't be gone tomorrow because God only knows what it could be, what could be affected. You just, it, it's always the last thing you suspect, right? It always is. So think about what you're going to need and what you can't live without if it were to go away. That's a good way to think about it. If this went away and it wasn't available to me anymore, what is it that I'm going to wish I had more of? Am I going to wish I had more clothes? Am I going to wish I had more toothbrushes, more soap? What are you going to miss? Because once it's gone and you can't get it, that's it. You either have it or you don't. So think about it. Because when I was getting ready the other night to order another one of these, before I start plowing and I, my jaw dropped is like, my God, they want just under 400 bucks for the same identical camera. What the hell? The only, the only way I could buy this same camera for the same price that I paid for this one brand new is if I bought a pre-owned reconditioned one. And then it's not even guaranteed it would even last to buy it brand new in the box, just under 400 bucks. I checked all over prices are the same. It's crazy. That's what I mean. The very things that you think would be unaffected, boom, surprise, surprise. You better think about what you're going to need. Get it now because come next year, it's either going to be five times the cost or you're not going to be able to get it at all. You really need to sit down and make a list and get extra in anything that you think that you might not be able to get next year and get it now and get it at a better price now because come next year, it could be unaffordable or it'll be totally unavailable. I'm telling you guys, everything is being affected. Everything. I hope you heed this warning and uh, think about it. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.